Out a bizarre call for police today. It all started as a hoarding complaint, but turned into a rescue for the homeowner's unique pet. ABC 15's Pete Serrano just got back from that neighborhood, and yeah. Pete, they took away a monkey? Yes, a capuchin monkey, to be exact, and when I talked to a neighbor about it, he knew about it all, including the monkey's name. Ricky is the name of the capuchin monkey that MCSO took away from this West Phoenix home. Dura White is a neighbor and claims he's seen more than just monkeys around that home. Well, I know she has a monkey, dogs, cats, mice. <laughs> Roaches. MCSO got an anonymous tip about a monkey in distress, but when they served a search warrant on the home near 59th Avenue and Thomas Road, they weren't able to find more animals. Only the monkey with two to three feet of garbage in its cage outside. But as you can see in these pictures, they also found a home in extremely poor condition. So bad that they aren't even sure where the homeowner slept at night. There is a lot of material that ranges from household equipment, uh, furniture, uh, trash, food items, uh, bugs. Authorities sedated the monkey and took it to a veterinarian for blood tests before sending it to a society that houses primates in Prescott. Durrell says his 78-year-old neighbor admitted she was a hoarder when they moved in a couple of years ago. And we thought it was funny. But after two years of dealing with roaches and mice infesting their home because of the hoarding? Then we found out it wasn't funny. Laughing matter indeed, and MCSO has not filed any charges, but this still is an ongoing investigation. They did, however, request an emergency mental health pickup order. That request was denied.